Nannerberry. A Nannerberry? We were asked fold versus crumple. And I think crumple is kind of like wadding something up or like, it's, it's kind of like folding without a system. Okay. So I think the root of this question is when you're using toilet paper, oh. do you fold it or do you just wad it into a ball before you use it? Mm. That seems a little too personal to uh, put out there, but I'm going to say the truth. The truth is I fold. Oh. I um, have to agree folding is probably the more organized way to do it. I mostly fold. Every mostly? Wait, what? How do you mostly fold? You can't... Well, okay, every now and then, especially with really cheap toilet paper, it's like you can get a better shape by crumpling it folding it doesn't quite work you're using the really fancy toilet paper that's basically like paper towels <laughs> <laughs> you um you can fold it a lot easier uh, uh yeah i'm gonna say thank you friend vincent long time no see miss you in iceland keep being cool we're going with fold <laughs> <laughs> fold wins being from the midwest i am often asked which do i say pop or soda oh okay uh that one that one came from a friend of mine in jacksonville actually following us on facebook immediately jumped on and it was what do you say soda versus pop this was intense penny did some research let's hear it okay i actually hand drew a nice map for us of the regions that say soda or the regions that say pop. And during this strenuous research, I discovered that there's actually a whole region that says Coke. What? I had no idea. I was expecting maybe cola, but <laughs> straight up Coke. Isn't Coke a brand name? I'm pretty sure it's like Kleenex. Like, do they not have Pepsi there? Is Pepsi still okay? <laughs> Where is Pepsi? I don't know. Where? No, this is. I really did not even notice that Pepsi is like crazy under advertised. Mm. They're like YouTube Red or something. I think they don't have to advertise because they're constantly being asked if they're okay and everyone's a little worried about them. <laughs> is Pepsi okay? So we're just. We're checking up on you, Pepsi. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing all right? <laughs> We're concerned. All right. So what do you say? I believe that I am near a buffer zone and I prefer to say soda pop. Ooh. So the answer is both. Always both. Um, I don't think I've ever called it pop before. Really? Not even because I, I think I lived what, in a pop zone, right? I believe so. I was born in a pop zone and I was born in Jersey. I think Jersey's actually a soda zone. <gasps> and if you look at the map, I don't know where Jersey is, <laughs> but I'm going to take a wild guess and just say you're in a soda zone. Yeah. I remember it was like the, the north. The northeast coasts. and the, the northwest. Yeah. yeah. So coke florida's in a coke zone that's correct according to the map and then she used the most advanced internet technology known and unknown to human existence to create this map through hours and hours of intense research she didn't even sleep not even a second it was like she was on coke all night and florida's in a coke zone And I was born and raised in a pop zone. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that I say soda pop. So it's kind of like a Coke and pop corn. Oh. Mm. Mm. Coke and cock porn. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. That was um, a slip. Coke and what? 
Uh, Coke and popcorn. Oh, okay, okay. Coke, yeah. Coke and popcorn. I thought, no. Uh, I don't know what you were thinking. I'm only thinking about what you were saying. Well, stop thinking about what I'm saying. Well, stop thinking out loud when I'm listening. <laughs> stop listening when I'm thinking out loud. You're right. <laughs> oh, well, now I feel bad. You want to give me some popcorn? Do you have some Coke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a third option and just bring the movie. Oh, okay. Then I'll bring the Coke and cockporn. The Coke and what? The Coke and popcorn. Oh. All right. You fucking with me. You're hearing things. I do hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> So something you might not know about me is that I grew up pronouncing Parmesan cheese as Parjamon. Parjamon? Yes. I've never even heard of that mistake. Like, usually some sort of mispronunciation is like, you know, Titchen. That's an actual speech impediment. K's become T's. I've seen it before. Really? But Parjamon? So my theory on this is that in an old cookbook somewhere, there was a typo and I grew up or I learned to speak very phonetically. So I think I just pronounced it exactly how I saw it and it was forever ingrained in my, my mind like that. And only in the last maybe decade have I been pronouncing it properly. <laughs> nice. Parjama. I've never heard you say it though. You must have put in the correction beforehand. Yeah. I got something for you. Okay. You like fun facts, right? I love fun facts. Fun fact. Butterfly used to be flutter by until it was misprinted in the dictionary. Really? For real. I've never heard that fun fact before. So we all say butterfly, which doesn't make sense, but a flutterfly does. Maybe. Same thing happened to you. Parjamon was really Parjamon until there was a misprint, and now we all call it Parmesan. That is so interesting. <laughs> you don't know. You could be right the whole time. Right. It's possible. I think it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> no one says Parjamon. Only me. Bring it back. I'm bringing it back. Parjamon. Another one of those mon things. And I said it before it was cool. <laughs> that could be a cool segment. Before it was cool, I used to wear paint st stained pants. Before it was cool. <laughs> before it was cool, I used to wear paint stained pants. Before it was cool, I had a really really vintage phone <laughs> <laughs> before it was cool I was into yo-yo tricks really actually yeah I can do I can do some yo-yo tricks I would love to see this and I think our audience would love to see it as well <laughs> we don't have a yo-yo but I can bring back you know a walk the dog or a little star or Ooh. baby in the cradle Nice. Okay, okay. I'd love to see that. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Um, um, oh, <laughs> All right, throw in something else. Hey, you know, I'm getting kind of hungry. How about you? <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's been that time. We've had a great time tonight. We Feeling have. Feeling like I could go for a little bit of a snack. You got something in mind? Hmm, maybe some kind of midnight munchie. Oh, I like the way that sounds, midnight munchies. Yeah. And if you're interested in this sort of content, just wait. <laughs> It'll be munchy, crunchy, and not to give any... uh thing away 
but it's going to be not quite hot, but a little bit hotter if you were to apply a whole lot of fire. Oh, I like the way you said that. Whole lot of fire. <laughs> It'll be packed with flavor. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. <laughs> And it'll be blaming. Oh, now, now, don't give it all away. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see what type of midnight munchies we're going to next, we got a link for you and maybe a whole new channel coming where you get to see some amazing things happen in the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a great week. Yeah. And join in next week. If you like what you saw tonight, make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. It's easy PC. <laughs> I like it. Do it again. Again? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. We've had a really great week. This has been really fun. And we'd love for you to join us next week. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It's easy peasy. <laughs> you would be really good at doing ads. Really? Yeah. It's I easy peasy. I'm like, all right, I might click that button. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Okay. One more thing. One more thing. Hey, so some people have asked us how we came up with the name, the PC podcast. We've had plenty of fans write us and I quote, why do you guys call yourself PC? You're not even politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even call yourself PC? I can see that you're using a mini Mac in the background. Ooh, called me. Well, we got our name from a synthesis of reasons. One of them is I'm Penny and this is Shimon. So naturally, PC. Right. And the women always come first. We also thought it'd be quite ironic to name our show the PC Podcast Show because we're not exactly PC <laughs> and it makes it a little funny. Yeah, yeah. And a PC was used in the making of the show. It was, it was. We're definitely across all platforms, Android, PC, Mac, Chrome. Chrome. <laughs> yeah. So one more thing. One more thing. Check out in the bottom left-hand corner, the Nanorberry. <laughs> Oh, this is a new addition. Yeah. Um, you may have noticed in our previous videos that it has been added to all of our videos. I created the Nanoberry on my own from an uh, unbranded program. <laughs> yeah, and it worked quite well. I'm pretty psyched about it. It looks perfect. <laughs> and she did it. It's cool. As you can see, the Nanoberry does exist. It's not make-believe, it's real. <laughs> so, if you like the PC Podcast Show, make sure you give everybody a nanoberry. How do you like to eat your nanoberries? Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> I like to make sure they're quite ripe, maybe even a little extra ripe. Mm and chop them up and throw them into bread or muffins. Mm. Even pancakes. <laughs> I love it. I think that's a good spot right there. Yeah. You all sit. I liked that I said pancakes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because I was going to run up with waffles. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs>